Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by the channel. I have some racing and other logo components for you for your female character. do want to point out that currently the transfer glitch that I'm using only works on the old gen version, so PS4 and Xbox One. If you know a new version or have a new version for next gen, you can of course use that for that. I do also want to thank T Games, but let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using these new leather jackets, the racer jackets, with the crew back large logo on them to turn into these logos that I'll be showing you after the transfer. So it doesn't matter what crew logo you use, just make sure you're in a crew. I also do want to add a little tip or trick here that for some of these you'll need a closed jacket and others you'll need an open jacket. So once you do open or close the jacket through your interaction menu, you can then go to the bottom of your list under tops, if you're in a crew of course, to add that crew logo. So now that we got the tips and tricks out of the way, I should also point out that you can find the components for this video in the description of the video, so go ahead and drop that down, check out the timestamps for each component, each outfit, and go ahead and put them together. I'm not going to take you through me putting on all the items. So the first outfit here has that mustard racer leather jacket open with the back crew emblem. The second outfit has the orange racer jacket with the crew emblem on the back and it's closed. The third one has the open orange racer jacket with the crew logos and you'll notice that we're using that a few times to make a little bit more complicated outfit. Just as an FYI, the orange open racer jackets are the ones that merge. So once you've done the component transfer glitch to get back on your female character, you will need to save your current outfit to keep it. And I wanna go ahead and take you through the outfits that we transferred over. As you can see, the first one is component only. We just went ahead and are wearing those racer logos on this outfit with this special glitched Lost MC leather jacket. So that's another really cool thing that you have here. Keep in mind, you can change the bottoms Put any bottoms you want with the logos as long as you don't change that torso two or jacket or top component without losing the logos. So you will also need to obtain any belt that you want. I'm using one here from this Save Wizard outfit that I have saved on this account. You can do the casino um, outfit unlocks to get a belt if you have a paramedic belt saved. You can use any torso one to merge onto our final outfit. I'm just reusing what I already have. So we've got our outfit slot saved. As examples, I'm gonna take you through what we're putting together to wear with these outfits, and then we're gonna go ahead and complete the merge. So again, we don't need to do anything with this first outfit, but we're gonna add a office shirt and some black leggings next to the hoodie logo component outfits to merge. And then for the next racing logo outfit, we're gonna be merging together this white racer jacket, this leather jacket. And then for the last outfit that's gonna have some catsuit pants, we're just gonna merge on this blouse top. And then eventually, we are actually going to do a torso one non-component transfer merge to put the belt on with this top with those catsuit pants. So let's go ahead and head into the first job so I can show you the first outfit and the merge and the logo. So I'll show you the full merging in this job because I want to show you a tip and trick at the end. But for merging, I'm just going to be using the missions. I'm going to use it's a G thing. So when you get into this job, you need to set that to player saved outfits and you also need to, I would just recommend setting it to easy. Go ahead and invite at least one friend to join the mission with you and then you're gonna load into the outfit selection screen like we've always done and scroll from your transfer outfit with the merge component over to what you wanna merge onto it and then back or do it backwards and just merge from the thing you wanna merge to the outfit with the merge component. So if you're looking for these jobs, I'll have the playlist that I created with the current merge glitch or available merge jobs listed in the description. Of course, like I had mentioned with all the components and outfits and even a component transfer playlist that shows you how I transfer my components. 
So we're doing the hoodie logo merge here, if you recall. Scrolling over to the outfit that had the office shirt on it and then back to my hoodie logo merge slot. Go ahead and ready up. You are just gonna hit play and then you should load into It's a G Thing where you can actually save your outfit at your CEO building or even in your um, apartment or whatever, one of your properties. So this is just a really easy way. I'm just gonna drive over there, head into my CEO building, save the outfit, and then I'll show you what it looks like and then what we can also do when we load back into free mode. So you can see this hoodie logo merged onto this top. Really, you can use whatever you want to merge onto this. This was just an example to show you something that you can do. Of course, it kind of matches the shoes I transferred over. Yeah, the armor kind of hides it here, but you can take it off in free mode, which is the little trick that I'm going to show you in case it's something that you don't like or if you just don't want to cover up that logo that we transferred over. So you can just select that outfit when you load back into free mode after you've saved it and it's a G thing. And then you could open up your interaction menu, of course, go to inventory, body armor, and just remove the armor just to get a better feel for what that logo looks like. You can put this and merge really any top with this logo. Keep in mind, you're merging tops onto logos. You're not merging the logos. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. So let's start with the second outfit now that we transferred. This one is going to be the white racer leather jacket that we saved. Um, it, this is one that I also posted on an Instagram, FYI. We're gonna merge that into some panties and some stuntman shoes and a logo. So go ahead and scroll to the white racer jacket top and then back to that component that has the merge with the logos and you'll see the result when we load in. So you've got some racer logos here. You can see them on the leg, they're on the arms, on the back, and everything's merged together here just with some components. So if you're using It's a G Thing or any of the other merge jobs, just do what you do. Make sure you save the outfit. Again, I'm just gonna save it in my CEO building because it's easy, sorry for the loud sounds. And then you'll be able to load out of the job and then have this outfit. Just as a reminder in case you forget, you cannot change the top without losing the logos for these particular outfits and these components. But if you change anything else in the outfit, like if I changed the shoes or I changed the panties or the gloves or some accessories, you're not gonna compromise the top in any way. So you'll be able to keep the actual logos and just slide on some different bottoms with no problem. So this video is only long because I wanna show you a couple of examples of what you can do with this logo merging, how you can keep the logos and do a lot of fun stuff with them, how you can make it a little complicated. And of course, it's just been a while since I've uploaded a video. So I wanted to refresh and revamp everything for you all as far as merging is concerned. So of course now we just selected that outfit again just to see what it looks like in online or free mode. And it's simple, we've got some logos with just component transfers. So this next outfit is going to feature a logo and a non-component transfer belt merge, which is a little tricky, so I wanna show you how I did that. So we're gonna to scroll to the outfit when we're merging that has that blouse on and then back into the merge slot that we transferred. You'll see that you get this little glitchy bib, which we're gonna be glitching off if you're familiar with this glitch and then putting a belt with this final outfit. So when you're in the job to merge, you just do the same thing. Go ahead and save the outfit. I'm actually gonna switch the shoes when I'm in the job, just in my closet, because I want it to wear different shoes. With this outfit and with the catsuit pants, you don't have to merge different shoes unless there's something you can't buy or put on. And I'm just gonna be wearing the white plain high top sneakers. So when you see that listed as a component or an item um, on the list for the outfits, that's all I did. So I wanted to show you that here. So there are just a few things that I wanna note while you're either editing the shoes or getting ready to start the next part of this outfit to glitch it completely. 
You do need to know how to do the no transfer merge for the torso one or for like the belts or the undershirts. I've posted so many videos on that before so I'll link those in the description if you just want an idea of everything you can do with this. But I am going to show you it in this video too. So the most important thing here is when you quit the job through your phone, you want to force a save. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that throughout this glitch. You can buy something, you can swap your outfit, you can run around in free mode for a little bit, you can EWO or just you know let somebody kill you, whatever it might be. But the most important thing here is that after you leave the merge job, you will need to close application. If you try to go into a mission like a titan of a job, which is what we're gonna be doing, before closing application, it's not gonna merge properly. So when you close app and you load back online, you're gonna need a heist coverall, and you're gonna run at a telescope and hold right until you stop, but you don't wanna look through it. So don't do what I did. Just spam it, you stop, and then you're just gonna not look through it. From here, open up your interaction menu, and then you wanna select that outfit that you just merged together and saved before you closed app. When you walk away, you'll have on the heist coverall mask, and then you want to save this over the slot that you had also just originally saved this outfit on. Now what's really important here is you need to make sure that you have your belt, whatever you're merging onto this outfit, in the slot before or after this saved outfit slot. And then from here, you need to force a save again. So you can do everything I just told you to do. You can do it and then close app. You just need to make sure that you force the save. Typically for this, I'll just exit whatever building I'm in, which kind of forces it, and then I'll just jump off the building <laughs> or whatever it might be, because both of those things will force a save. If you're having trouble with this part, it's probably because you didn't force the save. And I don't know how many times to repeat that, but it's likely the issue. And so I'm just gonna like triple, double, quadruple, select that outfit again. That's another way to force a save. And then you'll see me just, I know it's saved. I saw the little orange circle in the bottom. So from here, you're going to start a rock star created job, a mission called a Titan of a Job. You wanna load into this job. You can play this on your own. And what you should see is that your character should have on that chemical mask and then that little glitchy bib should be gone. If you load in with the stocking, you didn't force a save. You did not do it correctly. So from here, you can save this outfit again over that slot, and then you can just exit the job through your phone. Next step is also super important. As soon as you load into online, don't save this outfit again. You wanna immediately go back into the merge job. So we're just gonna use it's a G thing, and then here's where it gets a little tricky and where people are gonna get pissed. <laughs> it looks like the outfit doesn't merge, okay? You're gonna scroll a billion times, but I promise you it's merging. You just have to do a little trick afterwards. So just do as you normally do. Scroll to the belt slot, scroll back to the outfit that we just saved. So I have like slot 19 and then you know back to whatever this slot is. And then just hit ready to play. As long as you see the outfit that you came into the job with and you've kind of like attempted the merge, this is gonna work. So when you load into the job from here, you can just walk around for like a second, it doesn't matter, but you're just going to immediately quit the job through your phone. And then when we spawn back online, I'll show you how we're actually going to merge the belt and put the belt on with this outfit. For those of you that are new, you're gonna be like, wow. And for those of you that have been doing this, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, it worked. <laughs> so you wanna register as a CEO when you're back online, and then you want to find a car. Once you've registered and you found a car, you want to scroll to the outfit that had the belt on it. So that was my last slot. Now, what you wanna do is you want to, you can go up to parachute and then press the button to enter the car. You're gonna go back to the secure serve menu, management style, right once, left once, and then you're just gonna hop out the car. Once you do that, you'll see the belt or the torso one merged onto this outfit. 
So I hope you guys figured that out. I hope you can get that going. I hope it worked for you. But from here, you can really just save the outfit and you're all done. So like I had mentioned, you can do lots of things with this, even if you wanted to change the pants, if you weren't satisfied, if you wanted to add some accessories if the top allows it. Really do whatever you want with this. Just thought it would be nice to show you some outfits with logos that didn't require random glitches with old logos or save wizard or the two console glitch or just anything like that. If you're someone that still just does basic old component transfers, which everyone knows I love to do, then this should work out pretty well for you. I really appreci appreciate you all stopping by the channel. Uh, I do want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members. There are still so many of you. I love you guys so much. And some of you saw my community tab post, but this is just a heads up that the component transfer list is coming back. We've been talking about this for quite a few months. I've been talking about it with a lot of my channel members. And because I was able to pay for everything for the website and the DDoS protection and everybody's support for the last year and a half, we're just bringing it back. Um, another big part of that is I don't have a lot of time to keep it updated. So I wanna make sure that you guys can still have fun, those of you that are doing old gen stuff and don't really care about Save Wizard. <laughs> But thank you guys so much again for stopping by the channel. I will be seeing you soon with another one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.